Hi YouTube, how you doing? Today we're going to look at how to play Holly Humberstone's London is Lonely, a cracking song. It's on the piano, but I've worked it out for anyone that wants to play on the guitar really. I liked it, I'm not great on the piano, so I worked it out on the guitar and I'm just going to show you how to play it. If you want me to do any more of her songs, let me know in the comments. If it's helped you, hit like for me. And she's just won a Brit Award as well, so check out her music, incredible talent. So we're going to start off with the chords, E minor, G, C to D5. I'm taking normal D, but I'm taking off the middle finger. I think that's how it sounds. Um, the easy way to play is like this. Notice it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and on that D, that fourth note, take it off. Listen to the record, or just a song, it changes chord on that last that last note. Like that. Now, as well, after that E minor to G, she changes to the G on the um, fourth note, which changes it slightly early. One, two, three. However, I personally, when I'm playing it on my own, I don't, I don't really, I just stick to the fours myself, because I, it's easier, it's, I like it, um, and I think for the guitar it suits it more so than the piano. But, just be wary of that, listen to it, see what you think. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll just do it like this. Then we go to like a pre-chorus or bridge, and to do that, same chords. This is from fours, but this one's strummed. I mean, the, the way the song goes, we want to build up, we want to build up to this amazing chorus. So it starts off nice and gentle, finger picking, and for this, we're gonna go, it a bit myself so rest my palm on those strings now you can as well which I like to do just because it's a piano again it's a lot more fuller sound in some cases I play C stroke G which is the same as your C but my ring finger is going to be on that third fret of the sixth string my pinky underneath it so it's Sorry, that's the bridge or your pre chorus. And then we go into the amazing, the amazing um, chorus. So I'll play that through twice and I'll show you how it's done. G to D, now each of these are two, one, two, to D for two, to E minor for two, to D for two, I'm going to C for four, one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do C for two, to D for two, so we'll go like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, Strum pad for that is down, down, and on the this bit is down, up, down, down. So it's one, two, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down. Now, again, I like to 
sometimes play this, C straight G. Again, it's your preference. I also, if you might have noticed, do a hammer run, just to, just to mix things up a bit. Again, that's preference as well. That's how I like to do it. You don't have to do it. And then once you've done that chorus, back to the verse again. And you follow the same structure through the whole song. Those are the only riffs. The, there's a chorus riff at the very end, which is the same riff, but it's played slightly slower. Um, those are the riffs. Listen to the song. Play it how you want to do it. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the song. That's what the tutorial's for, so that you can play the song essentially. But if you've got any more requests for me, let me know below. Any feedback's always good. And just enjoy Holly's music. Cheers.